Hello, welcome to Kate's Egg. Today I am in the baler again. So now we've got all four balers in the same field, which is incredible. I had to stop because the back plugged. We'll see if it's good now. Looks like it is. I was probably going a little bit fast here, even though there's not much straw in this at all. Setting my pickup for the baler back down. It looks like it just plugged again, so we'll start off kind of slow, see what's happening. My dad's flying the drone now, so that's very cool. The orange baler stopped for a second. I'm slowing down so that the baler in front of me can get ahead. Here's what my screen looks like. That's a picture of how the baler works. These are the arrows that point me what direction I should go. If one side is higher than the other, that means I need to move towards the side that's higher to level them out. The flakes in the bales are two inches wide. This bale is 73 out of 102 inches, so it's almost done. You can kind of see it. One's about to come off now. There we go. It is really fun having all the balers in one field going all different directions. Everyone turns around, starts a new pass, it makes everything really exciting. And then you've got a bunch of people on the radio too. Oh, I have a lollipop down. I'll help you, good, good. Thank you. Did you get some? Sometimes I do. Buzz? Back in the tractor cab for more bailing. Now I'll watch to make sure the lollipop comes back up. And it did, so that's wonderful. Now I'm going to slow down and stop so that the baler in front of me can line up with his next pass. And I'm not in his way. Looks like I wasn't in his way. I watched it come back up, but I think that same lollipop is down again. Alright, I'll come check right here. Thank you. Idle it down, put it in park. Is it something I could have prevented? No. Okay. The twine at the bottom, most likely it switched from the first row to the second row of twine. And the knot wasn't tight enough. Okay. So then it just pulls off at the bottom. Oh, so the knot came undone. Yeah, so there's no twine going up to actually do the second knot. This bale fell apart. Is this where you re it at? Waving at the drone. So one twine, this one will empty and it will move to the bottom one? Yeah. So and then what happens when the bottom one empties? So that's why we always have three of them. Uh, so for instance, this one, that's the first one. This one empties, it's almost done. It's going to run into this one. Yes. And then it will run into this one. After that, you'll just run out of twine and it will just keep dropping out. And you're from South Africa too? Yes, yes. That's awesome. Yeah. And what's your name? Frederick. Well, it's nice to meet you. Yeah, to you too. I was, I was just thinking the trick and watching your movies now. So. Oh my yeah. gosh, awesome, <laughs> thank you. Do you enjoy them? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, I'm checking the farm barn one now. Ooh, and very uh, cool, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> How do you enjoy bailing? Yeah, yeah, bailing is nice. I was doing farming in South Africa also. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I was working for a guy in South Africa called Lucerne. What type of crops do you farm in South Africa? Yeah, we, we was working with uh, cows and sheep. Oh, and cows and sheep? Deliver alfalfa and I was working on the trucks and stuff like that. That's wonderful. Yeah, I was doing everything in one. Do you like Montana? Yeah, yeah, Montana is nice. Yeah. It's my first year in Montana. So. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Sorry? You're good to go. Thank you so much. So just start up the and... Okay, bye. I'm good to go now. Now I put the PTO back in, and then I turn this switch off again, and I put it in again. It should engage the second time. Yes, it did. So now I put my foot on the brake, RPM up, bring the steering wheel down. Now I'm going to take it out of park and put it in forward and move forward. I'm also going to put my sunglasses on because I'm headed directly into the sun. That lollipop looks like it's coming back up. You 
definitely get a lot more straw on you bailing than you do combining. It's really great that everyone stops to help out. I'm making my turn now. Running baler is so fun. Ivor was telling me that so many people enjoy bailing. They come from all over the world just to run balers. Got my Kate's Egg tote bag here with me. This is mine from seeding. And then I also brought another Kate's Egg tote bag with me because I needed to pack more things. This field was swapped in two parts to make it easier on the combine, so we're working on baling this half, and then we'll move over to the west half of the field. <laughs> One bale just fell apart behind me. I've done 996 bales. Well, not personally, but this tractor today. I think I started at around 810 bales, so I've almost done 100 bales today, which is pretty good. I started at 11 and it's six right now. I'm going to stop so that the other baler can pull into his row. Sometimes the bales pop off in weird places when you're making your turn, so you go to make your next pass and you have to move the suspension down on the front of the tractor because it's got a little attachment to push bales out of the way. Oh, he left me this row. That was very nice. I definitely feel a lot more comfortable in the baler if something were to happen. I think I have a better understanding of how it works. I don't completely understand and especially the way the twine goes in the back, but I understand a little bit more now. Oh, he's out of his tractor, so I better just take this row. He had to fix a lollipop as well. His probably didn't come fully undone like mine did, though. I always love waving at the other balers when they go by. The team I'm working with right now are just the nicest people. So a huge thank you to Ivor for allowing me to come into your operation and run a baler. I've really enjoyed it and you have a wonderful team. They are fantastic and incredibly nice. I enjoy driving all kinds of different machinery and learning new things. It's one of my favorite things to do and understanding the process of everything and how it works. That's what makes this so much fun. Oh, a bale just dropped off the back of the baler beside me. These tractors will go 0.04 miles an hour. So I've just slowed down to that in order to... Thank you. You're welcome. I actually watched one of your videos just now. Um, I think it was from Farming Feathers and Fire. Um, that field you guys combined with the steep wheel. I actually swatched that. So I put down the windows you guys were harvesting. Wow, that's awesome. So that is just incredible and so cool to be able to see it come full circle and meet all the people who were a part of making harvest happen. The sunset right now is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. The baler in front of me stopped. One of his lollipops is probably down. I'm driving 5.4 miles an hour right now. Bobby, Ray, and Frederick. Yeah. You guys want to go and you guys want to do another all-nighter? No problem with that, buddy. I have another lollipop down. They did an all-nighter last <laughs> night. So, they are asking each other if they want to do another one. Nope, that happens a lot. Thank you. It is 7.41 and we are still failing. Occasionally I push down the pickup hydraulic to make sure it's on the ground. We are almost finished this field and this is going to be my last field for the day and when you're driving a baler, they're not very wide so you can pass the baler next to you. You can't do that in combine. It's a big no-no of combine etiquette. I'm only going five miles an hour. The moisture is starting to come up a little bit. It's, it was 10% earlier, now it's 20%. Oh, I guess I'll just speed along and take the next row. I was pulling out further so he could get it, but he pulled out as far as I did. I'm going to slow down a little bit for this coolie. We should probably actually disc this. I'm getting better at keeping the lines even, so staying in the middle of the swath. And it's not where your tractor's driving, but where your baler's going, that's important. The swath has a corner in it. You drive the tractor out a little bit further because your baler will never go as far as your tractor and you lead it around. It's kind of like the trailer on the semi truck when I was learning how to drive semi.
It's a little cooler, so I'm going to increase the heat, which isn't a dial in this, it's just a button, so it's so nice, and you can set exactly what you want it at. So I just set it to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas usually I'm just spinning a dial and have no idea what it's set at. I should maybe turn the Baylor lights on. The sunset is really pretty tonight. Oh no, I put a bale in a swath. Sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. I, my baler dropped a bale in the middle of his swath. It happens. <laughs> so he had to move the suspension down on the tractor to push it out of the way. All my lollipops are up, so that's good. I've got to constantly be looking out the window, driving straight, checking here to make sure I'm driving straight, looking at my numbers, making sure everything's good. Occasionally I look out the back to make sure the lollipops are up and to see that everything's going good back there. Then I'll look at my monitor and see the bales come out. It's a camera that's on the back of this baler. <laughs> I'm slowing down to stay behind this baler, but he's driving four miles an hour, so I might just pass him. This is such a fun crew to work with. I'm having a lot of fun. Now I'm making my turn and weaving around the bale with the tractor and the baler to line up to my next path. I've always seen these square balers in the field and wondered how they worked and when the bales popped out and why the bales came out and just everything about them. And now I get to see firsthand how a baler works and even drive one. This is all of the tractors at night with their lights on, me included. Oh no, he had a bale. <laughs> oh, this is now my road. That was very nice of him to leave it for me. This is our night baling operation. We're finished for the evening. I'm going to take all my stuff to my dad's pickup now. He's picking me up. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe to learn more about how your food gets to your table. You can also follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G, and on Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. Make sure you're following my official TikTok, K-A-T-E-S underscore A-G. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!